Hello, Dr. Ray. Good to see you, my friend. How are you, doctor, on this wonderful Friday? Hello, Chef Jay. Good to see you. I'm feeling great today, better than yesterday, and tomorrow, Chef Jay, better than today, so we're sticking around. Well, that's because I'm sure you have uh, not only a plan, but a perfect plan, because as we know, practice does not make perfect. As I learned myself yesterday and got myself <laughs> a pretty wicked sunburn on my back when I was spear fishing. And just before we get the show started, I wanted to thank you Um the one great, another great thing you taught me in my life was um, how to incorporate the hour of exercise or, or that turned into more, which is the beneficial thing is if you start doing something active that takes one, two, three hours, you don't think you are. I'm also getting a meditative effect from that and a learning aspect because the night before we, uh, you know, you're, you're kind of, you're into it. So that one hour of day of exercise, meditation, if you find a thing you love and you soul search and you find that thing, then you really win in life is then you get meditation, exercise, learning all in one go. So I uh, learned I didn't plan as well as I should and I got a wicked sunburn, but, you know, I'll take it and I'll chalk it up to, hey, next time, you know put a, a, a skin on or something in the water and don't be, you know, so absent-minded. But at the, at the same time, the experience, that freedom, that feeling, I'll take a little bit of a sunburn once, you know, once a year or so. So with that being said, doctor, welcome back to our YouTube show, Ingredients for a Better Life. Um, I am DNA Chef Jay, joined here weekly by Dr. Robert Nettles, the founder and chief medical scientist of Stop and Regrow. Good to see you, doctor. And today um, we want to jump into precision medicine, what Obama in 2015 touched on, which is, you know, before it was, you know, a one size fits all approach, big pharma, um, you know, a more symptomatic based healthcare where this hurts. OK, we'll treat that. But not everyone's the same. Not everyone it has the same genetics. Not everyone has the same. Um, you know, we're all different. So what this precision medicine is, it's, you know, not treating to the masses where it's a one size fits all. It's more of a, um, you know, um, taking in the blood work when we cut it down, really. Right. So that's how you find out. So, you know, the question is, how does this fit into hair loss? And, you know, um, you know, how how exactly is this important for us, not only for, you know, cosmetically with hair loss, but also things like uh, immunity and um, having a better Nile River to, you know, to combat this thing we call life. So with that, I'll give you the floor and uh, good to see you. And I can't wait to hear what you have to say. All right. Great question, uh, Jay. So precision medicine is a mouthful and uh, you you're right that uh, uh, president obama mentioned it in uh, 2015 the fda uh, on their website fda.gov has a quote and i'll read that to you so precision medicine involves tailoring uh, disease prevention and treatments that take into account pers personal unique differences in each person's genes environment lifestyle and nutrition so you start to realize that uh, the evolution uh, of medicine or the practice of medicine over time takes into account what has happened and transpired over the course of the last couple of hundreds of years with the development of science and technology that allows us to better uh, visualize, diagnose uh, disease and conditions that we now can uh, better prevent or treat but uh, that uh, technology has allowed us to fast forward past uh, seeing, uh, visualizing cells and now visualizing molecules. So yep. what we looked at a hundred years ago that worked for us was uh, a few molecules here and there hit and miss might or might not work in 62 to 72% of the cases. And in 32% of the cases, you'd end up with 13 arms instead of just treating the cold that you yep. had. So we, so molecules. So uh, the, the government in the United States 
has uh, combed through molecules. So where do molecules come from? First thing I want to want to to do, Jay, is to lay the fear of the of the word medication or medicine or pharmaceutical or what a pharmacy can and cannot make, what a man on earth can and cannot make. Man on earth, so before we get into the evolution of the practice of medicine, 97% of scientists today believe in a term called evolution. 97% of scientists believe in a term that's known as evolution that says nothing turned into a rock, a rock turned into a banana, a banana turned into J. That's God. unbelievable, but most people believe in it. So that's not true. That is not what happened. But evolution of the practice of medicine has occurred over a couple of hundreds of years. So we had uh, light-based technology. Light is now measured in nanometers. You, Jay, are about six feet tall, two meters. So do you know how, the, how big a, a wavelength of light is? Nanometer, it's part of a meter. So you could logically reduce what, that, uh, what the actual size of a wavelength of light is. But there are things much smaller than that. They're in the, the size range of picometers, which is a thousand times smaller. So that's the way that uh, when you get an x-ray and they don't, you know, you get an x-ray and it shows you the broken bone inside your arm, but it doesn't show you the skin cells on the outside or the hair cells because the, the uh, radiation, the, the uh, types of equipment energy we're using is much smaller. Precision yeah. medicine, precision medicine, uses that fundamental scientific concept which are the molecules using x-rays and we had to crystallize all the protein so today as we talk about the human body very complex yet knowable how many enzymes inside the human body 3672 the number is known knowable everything has been uh, checked studied researched so all of these molecules, pharmaceuticals, medicine, ingredients on earth have to come from something already here on earth. So things are created. Everything is naturally here. All, all that man science can do, they take two different things, uh, Jay, and they put them in a pot and we stir things together. You've probably done this in the kitchen and voila, oh, you end yeah. up with something a little bit different than what you started out with before. And that becomes a new recipe for you. Well, so that being that being said, we we still have to follow the first law of thermodynamics, which is where you come in, is that, you know, we can only make a change. Right. Or uh, you have a better quote than I do with about thermodynamics. Um, I'm not a scientist, but, for, you know, as I know, being on the program is, look, you can you can't get rid of it. The law says, but you can make a change to it and, and how it performs within the body in, in this uh discussion so um you know we still very much are in the the cellular uh hmo when you go to your hmo doctor we are very much still in the past as far as um most people that that go to their doctor aren't having a precision medicine based experience right so you have to seek it unfortunately now it's not common but maybe in 20 years you said 10 years everybody's going to be on this kind of a program if you know you want to survive because the environment is not getting any easier right so it's not just about um something to regrow some hair or it's about finding the things that you want to address you know and a lot of times yeah sure it's that um the enzyme you inherit that it, might be causing you to produce too much DHT and you know 80% of all men have them 20% of people have both women it does not care it will go and it does not discriminate what we inherit but with precision medicine we have the ability now to change how that affects the environment and then with that as well we're going to have a better you know we're going to have a better um, immunity we're going to have we're going to the way you guys examine the diet is incredible. And most people, you know, they, they really don't have a working knowledge of not only HDL, LDL, but, you know, the where their food comes from, the fatty acids, how it all plays a part, you know. So what, to get back to what I'm saying is we're still very much in the dark ages with um, 
we're still in a 1950s mentality with a symptomatic based cellular type uh, medical system and less people seek it, which is why we're here, right? Is to spread the message that, you know, you're not stuck with what you inherited. And two, if you're smart about it, you could probably add 10 to 20 years on your life with a vigor. You're right, Jake. So it starts with uh, how many people are familiar with the name of the man Linus Pauling? Well, Linus yes. Pauling, the founder of molecular medicine. He stated years ago, he said every single state, every single medical school should have a biomolecular uh, physician. He termed it orthomolecular medicine, ortho being right. It's about the right molecules in the right amount. So now fast forward to where we are today, where as you alluded to the precision medicine, what does that mean today? Well, today we can take a look inside someone's blood work and evaluate everything from the lifestyle, the nutrition, the diets, the environmental causes, the uh, nutritional, the genetic, the enzyme, the hormone, everything is inside our uh, bloodstream. So in the Bible, Leviticus 17, 11, the life of the flesh is in the, in the blood. blood. Yep. Everything is inside the blood. So we go to the blood first and we stay in the blood and we monitor what's in the blood. So we kept our head in the blood and by keeping our head in the blood, we found out what the optimal ranges of every single molecule inside the human body should be. This 18 years worth of data that uh, combines uh, data sets from six continents is unknown to the world, but this term will now be called epigenetics, Jay. So precision medicine is in the past. Yep. Epigenetics will be taking precision medicine and actually doing something with it. So epigenetics is what we do in the office. We use FDA approved molecules, but not for cellular patho pathological disease management. We actually use enzyme regulators to optimize the ranges of every molecule inside the bloodstream so that we can uh, create an environment that will dictate, reprogram the DNA inside cells inside your body. That's reprogramming your DNA. That's epigenetics. So your genetics will be changed, optimized, improved, repaired by our precise management of every molecule in the bloodstream. And that includes the uh, nutrition uh, aspect. So we have to really partner with our patient, our client selection, and make sure that they're willing to commit yep. to a clean well, uh, diet. And that, that's, Jay, as you yep. realize, is probably the hardest part. The 87% of Americans overweight, out uh, yep. of shape, unhealthy, don't want to commit to exercising or eating well. Yep. So we can grow hair in most every individual on earth. And uh, even those uh, couch potatoes, they just make it more difficult. And it's a little slower process. Yeah, I was talking with someone from Ohio, the great state of Ohio. And, um, you know, they said, well, Chef Jay, you know, I can't afford this, uh, you know, the specialized blood work. I can only you afford, afford what, not what, to, Jay. But you I said to him, not to. I said to him, what can you afford? Um, a two day, three day, five day stint in the cardiac unit that your HMO insurance is not going to pay for. Can you afford diabetes? Because guess what? that's going to be a whole lot more expensive than um, even if pay the blood work out of pocket. And then the common trend now, I know with you, myself, and a lot of other people is pay your, save your money for your out of pocket insurance and do it on your own terms. Find the best people that can do the things that you're after and don't be reliant on, you know, a, a job based HMO care that is still in, you know, we're, it's, we're way beyond it. And if that's what's keeping you, guess what? You're going to get left behind. So that's what I have to say about how this program works. And, you know, a lot of say, people say, oh, stop and regrow. It's regrowing hair, regrowing hair. It's also stopping getting that blood work done, reevaluating and regrowing your environment, that, that, that nice biochemistry that as cavemen, we were much better at. Trust me, you know, um, we tend with this modern convenience lifestyle, it just gets more diluted, more diluted. We're less active. We're eating less proteins. And I'm really looking forward to next week talking about um, bad fats, fatty acids, and how those corn and soy um, 
you know, both from, you know, chicken, pork and the, and the convenience oils that go into your takeout food, what that does over time, because, you know, we'll get into the stop and regrow diet and how it's more than just hair regrowth. It's a, a true vitality system and a lifestyle and a mentorship. I know you are as much as the client, the patient brings in, you double fold it. You know, if they come in, do the research, do the work, you just double, you say, here, go with it. Take, here's more knowledge. You know, the writing is on the wall and what it's information. If we find it knowledge, if we share it. So that's what we're doing here. And um, also we're going to have um, from down under Brandon Tanitas will, uh, will be with us next week, giving his feedback on the program, how it's working for him. And also just to tell people that this program is not only in the United States and California and Santa Monica, it's everywhere. So these labs are everywhere. This precision medicine is electronic. The compounding pharmacy, it's, it's not a problem anywhere you are. There's patients in, I mean, India, there's patients in Europe, there's patients all over the world. So don't let that distance um, keep you from living your best and only life. And then with that, doctor, I say thank you. Um, that was a, a lot of information that will get out there. And, um, you know, I look forward to, to next week's discussion with seeing Cleve and um, talking about these Brandon, sorry, Brandon, they're brothers. So hey, we'll get them both on <laughs> and um, how we can collectively, um, you know, change the world through this remarkable medicine program of yours. So, um, doctor, thank you so much. God bless you. And thanks for joining me on uh, ingredients for a better life talk to you next thank week you very much great for having me right. on thank you, you. Jay. Thank you. of course see you next time